David came in to meet me and he said, you know, Neil, I'm not a billion dollar company, but I want to be treated like a billion dollar company. He has the key attributes of an entrepreneur. Coming from Wall Street, stepping into uh, an industry like the pharmaceutical industry and recognizing how much personal risk he was taking. There was a long period of time where I was uh, enjoying the hospitality of my parents and friends and, and other family members as I uh, lived the adventure of every other entrepreneur. Starting up, doing foolish things, leveraging credit cards, not paying yourself first. You're up against entrenched companies with established ways of doing things. And as I keep telling people, innovation takes time. Children with unmedicated if you will, ADHD, typically have challenges, many of them just getting through their routines during the day. The current uh, advice from physicians to caregivers about how to deal with this morning problem is wake your child up two hours earlier than they would normally get out of bed. It, it's just not a viable solution. When Sean is struggling in the morning, it makes him feel like he's bad. And those are his comments all the time. He's always saying, you know, I'm a bad kid, I can't get it together. I feel bad for him and, and then it makes me feel worse when I get on him. I just, I just want something to help his life be easier. Most of the time when my ADHD is bad, I feel like I can't control my feelings, like my mind just goes blank. We're fighting over simple things like, you know, eat your breakfast, get dressed. In total, we raised over 200 million U.S. dollars to see the vision come to life, and most importantly for the for the child, for the patient who's affected by this disease, to to start their day in a positive setting and a positive footing, it, it is very emotional. It, it just it can literally change that child, that patient's life. Is this a David and Goliath story? Uh, it absolutely is. I can honestly say it was. I, I, I don't ever remember a moment speaking with him where he said it's over. We're done. He has leadership. He has tenacity. He won't take, that cannot be achieved as an answer. He will take that challenge on. And yet at the same time, he is true and always has been true to his core being. Honest, ethical, authentic.